Hello students, welcome to my channel. If you are watching my channel first time, please subscribe for more updates. Click the bell icon. For your concept, directly you can go to the playlist. You will find the all concepts. Thank you. Now let's come to the question. And an electron is bound in a one-dimensional box of size that means length 4 into 10 power minus 10 meters. What will be its minimum that means lowest or a ground state energy? And calculate electron energy when it is in the second excited state. First of all, we will write the data. One dimensional box. Okay, whose size that means length given. So generally in some textbooks we are taking as L and some textbooks we are taking as a A. That's why I am introducing here two notations that means L or A, a length of a box that is 4 into 10 power minus 10 meters. Okay, next. What he has asked lowest energy, minimum energy and or lowest energy or ground state energy means n equals to 1. So, when n equals to 1, that is called as a lowest energy, that means E1 equals to how much? Okay, just I would like to show that energy states. So, when n equals to 1, that is called as a lowest energy or ground state energy. Okay, this is also called as a ground state. And n equals to 2, this is called as first excited state. n equals to 2 first excited state this is that means the corresponding energy is u2 and n equals to 3 is called as a second excited state these are called as this is first excited state and this is second excited state somebody may get confused so if, we, if they ask second excited means n is equal to 2 they will take so that is wrong e3 and e1 that means here we have to find out E1 equals to how much, E2 equals to how much and E3 equals to how much. These are we have to be calculate. Okay. What is the formula according to our particle in a one dimensional box? En equals to n square h square by 8 ml square. 8 ml square. Okay. Here m equals to mass of the electron that is 9.1 into 10 power minus 31 kg. Okay. And also uh, m equals to already wrote h equals to Planck's constant that is 6.625 into 10 power minus 34 joule second okay now by using this data we will calculate e1 e1 means when n equals to 1 and n equals to 1 so e1 equals to 1 square okay in this formula we are uh, substituting h square h square means 6.625 into 6.625 into 10 power minus 34 whole square by 8 into mass of m means mass of the electron 9.1 into 10 power minus 31 into L square. So, L square means L that means this one 4 into 10 power minus 10 whole square. Okay. By using our calculator if we simplify we will get the answer 3.768 into 10 power minus 19 joules. For example, if we ask the energy in terms of electron volts, okay, in terms of electron volts, in terms of electron volts, so we have to divide the, that one with the charge of the electron that is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19. So, charge of the electron, okay, 1.6 into 10 power minus 19. Then we can get the answer in electron volts that is 2.352 electron volts. So, further we have to calculate for the second excited state. Second excited state means n equals to 2. First of all, I would like to calculate for the first excited state that is E2. First excited state E2. That means here instead of n, we have to write 2 square, 2 square h square by 8 ml square. So, that equals to 4 times of ground state energy first excited state energy that means 4 into 2.352 that equals to 9.408 electron volts. At the same time if you want second excited state means second excited state means so E3 equals to 9 times of why because 3 square 3 square into H square by 8 ml square means that is the ground state energy. So, that is E1, okay, that means 9 into E1, therefore E3, that means second excited state energy is 
ट्वेंटी वन पॉइंट वन सिक्स एट वन सिक्स एट इलेक्ट्रॉन वर्स ओके स्टूडेंट्स थैंक यू